When you think about the fact that what we're able to do in Washington with own rooted vines, we have six good. varietals on this piece of property, everything from Riesling, you Cabernet, have, yeah. Syrahs, Chardonnays. Um, you can't do that any place in the world and have the wines of the quality that come out of here. So it's, it really, truly is a special place and it is our job to, to show that. And I'm sure you've heard about the, uh, while we're on the white section, of the tasting, the, the high diurnal temperature shifts that we have here, the really cool nights. I had a, a call a couple weeks ago from the chair of the department at UC Davis, a former chair, and I mean, he's been in the industry for how long? He should have worked with everybody all over the country, and they've educated quite a few winemakers who are up here also, but um, it took him a minute to say, how, cold are, how cool are your nights? We get down in the 50s and 60s even when our temperatures are in the hundreds. Now that we're getting up into the high 80s during the day, our temperature, our nighttime temperatures are down in the 40s. So the re acidity retention you get here is so much better than in places like California and Australia and all those warm climate regions. But we still have those warm daytime temperatures to get the ripeness in the fruit that you don't necessarily get in the really cool regions of the world. So it's a great, it's a great balance that we can achieve here in Washington State.